Hey, how's it going? I just woke up and I'm ready to play. So let's get started. I feel like I want to play this game mostly when I just wake up instead of uh, after I've done a lot of stuff. So <clears throat> I really want to do that before I have to do a bunch of crap I don't want to do. Oh yeah, last time we were looking for the tingle, or we're looking at the incredible chart. Oh wait, we're here. Okay. Oh yeah, we did go here. We set sail towards the place, but then we stopped because we got to like, yeah, 30 minutes. I think this is probably almost near the end, right? You get the chart, or you get all the Triforce pieces. <clears throat> and then you go to break open the barrier. And uh, go get Zelda, right? And that's... Uh, it's kind of sad because I don't want to finish. But I guess there's a lot of side stuff I could do that I've seemed to have ignored. Oh yeah, I want to learn a new um, sword technique. But I'm not sure when that guy, his name Orca, I'm not sure when he's gonna ask me for the, uh, for all the belts, the warrior crests. Unless I just need to go to him. the exit I think I really like that about this game um, these little like gauntlets where you just thrown in a room with a bunch of enemies and you got to take them all out they do that a, a couple times I feel like it's just uh, simple, you get it, you know what to do, and uh, <clears throat> it's a bit challenging, but I guess not the most in this game. I think I'm more of a, a grinding type person than a, um, like I want to try to solve problems and stuff. I like the idea of just fighting a bunch of stuff, and I don't I don't like having to think too much about it. I just want to fucking do it. Like I know what I'm supposed to do. Let's just do it. I think that's why I. Uh, <laughs> that's probably why I play RuneScape. It's just simple. Like I got too much shit going on to be thinking about fucking how to solve this puzzle. Like maybe a, a little puzzle, you know, but not some big like complex thing I actually recently stopped playing um, Fire Emblem Heroes I think for that reason specifically just because it's not the most challenging but they make it so that like you feel like you want to complete everything and uh, beat all the maps and shit but like, I don't know. They're making that shit way too tough when they had added, uh, what is it, Abyssal difficulty. And then when you beat it, you don't even get better rewards than what you would get if you beat the easier 
stages. You get like a golden... I remember there's one that kept bugging me. You get a golden towel or something, head towel, if you beat the Abyssal difficulty. And it's like, I don't want that crap. It looks stupid. Like, if you want to make me play a very complicated, difficult level, you need to give me a really good reward so I can, you know, want it. Want to beat it. And yeah, they're also adding in a bunch of other stuff I don't really care for. Some... What is it, like... You have to... It's just, I don't know, it's a bunch of new items. And, um, it's just becoming more and more complicated. I feel like they're pushing away any new people who might want to get in the game. Like, the, I'd say the first version of the game was very enjoyable. It's very simple, very basic. I didn't feel like I needed to get on it every single day. And just play it out. Um, and that's another thing, too. I like games where I don't feel like I have to get on every day in order to get some dailies or something like they're just they're it's like they know their game sucks but they're so desperate that they're like they'll uh they'll give you something if you just log in every day it's like you shouldn't have to make me want to log in you know yeah and i feel like runescape doesn't really make you feel that way or old school doesn't you can log in like a week later and shit will be just fine you know, you can get back to whatever you're doing. You don't have to worry about the updates. Making you get on every day just uh, creates unnecessary stress and like... Uh, it forces you to feel like you have to keep playing the game. Like they're trying to appeal to addicts or something. Which they, they probably are. That's where all the money comes from. Yeah, but since I stopped playing... Fire Emblem Heroes, I've been trying to figure out what game I should get on my phone. And I'm not sure, I actually did get uh, RuneScape Classic on my phone, but the only issue with it is uh, I feel like it's not scaled enough for me. Um, I was like just doing some basic fishing and stuff, and that's easy enough to do on the phone, but I wanted to go do some fighting and it just felt like thing the clicking stuff was way too small to equip stuff and eat and stuff like that. I just felt like too small I might die. And I'm trying to do uh, hardcore, Ar hardcore Iron Man so I ain't trying to die. You know. <laughs> at all. Ever. So I gotta be careful. So and I was thinking about also playing um, Hearthstone. Because I like playing Hearthstone. But then I thought um, that it might not be best on mobile. I really like playing it on my laptop. But I did try it on mobile and I don't know. It just it feels weird when you play a game or games in general that are not meant for the phone. Like they make the phone up, but like you know you should be on playing it the right way or the original way it was intended. I think that's also why I don't want to play RuneScape on my phone. I don't know. And then I tried getting a uh, emulator. Oh, is it here? So I could play like Pokemon or something. But then because of touch screens, it's just so lame. Trying to play a emulator with a touch screen. And you have to tap the A and B. And it is, I don't know. I used to have a phone that had a keyboard. And it felt so good to play emulator games like Pokemon. But, uh. I just felt like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't even play games on my phone. After going through a couple. Unless the game is specifically built. I actually was thinking of playing a couple other games that seem to be scaled pretty well. And they look interesting. Like I was thinking about playing Terraria. Oh, you know, I have to go all the way up there, don't I? I was thinking about playing Terraria for the phone. I was also thinking about playing um, maybe like Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Or no, it's not Advance, it's just Tactics. Because it, people were saying it's very well scaled. And I never played that game. And I, I'm not going to own it. Um, I could buy it though. And that's the only reason why I haven't tried it yet. It's because I don't want to buy it. It's like uh, 12 bucks. 12 bucks and I may not like it. 
Oh, wait, no, I want to show him. He has a crest on his wall back there. See if I don't... If he'll react to this. Oh, he is! <laughs> he dropped his spear. Why, why? That is a knight's crest. How many of those do you have? Hmm. Then I suppose that... Whoa, okay, I did it. How many did I need? It has come for me to speak to you about these crests. The knight's crest. So I had to come to him. He wasn't going to talk to me about it. The knight's crest. It is a symbol of a courageous knight. But not just anyone can gather them. No, it takes a soul who possesses not only power, but wisdom and courage as well. Any courageous soul who gathers ten of these... Oh, sweet. Do I need to train for it? Both my brother and I dreamt of learning this technique in our youth. We worked so hard to collect these crests. But it took many long years and adventures beyond count before we even approached finding ten of them. And we both grew old. It appears you have enough might, enough might to learn that technique now. Perhaps, just perhaps, you can master it. Very good, Mitoku. Heed my words. I remember in the old game, he sends you, like, mail. Telling you to give him some crest. But that was very late in the game, so... Maybe I just, uh, sped up the process. Hold B, power up, and then release it. Come at me, do it. There we go. That's what I wanted. Oh, he is getting fucked up. <laughs> Surprised it doesn't, like, cut him open. Hurricane spin. That's what I wanted. Oh, wow. <laughs> Amazing, Mirika, you did it. You have mastered the hurricane spin. At last, you have made long-held dream come true. Oh, the joyful tears. They won't stop. I thought my tears had dried up long ago. There is nothing left for me to teach you. I am certain now that you will save your sister, Ariel, and bring her home to Outset. I do it again. Nope. He knows. He knows how to block it now. Oh, that's good. That's exactly what I wanted. Now let's go. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to fight my way through it. Yeah, no, I th I'm pretty sure that is exactly what I need to do. It's, uh... I have to go through the gauntlet and fight all those guys, but, uh... I do sort of feel like I'm not fully loaded. But honestly, I feel like it won't be a problem with my current um, status. And I sort of feel like they made, I don't know if it's the same, but I feel like they made this game slightly easier as far as health goes compared to the GameCube one. Because I remember the GameCube one, I used to watch my health at least a little bit more, but I was also younger, so maybe that's, that's why. Wait, do I pick, bring the pig up here? Wait, can I bring the pig up here? I really don't want him to kill me. And I know bringing him up here would be very, uh... Be a very long process. But I do wonder if I can bring the pig up here. I'm gonna try. Before I do other stuff. It's gonna be a while <laughs> to get this big. Let's try and get that too. I've really been up here. It looks suspicious because it's shaped like a heart, kind of. Either that or I'm tripping, but it looks like a heart to me. And it's just oddly placed. 
Feels like if you can bra drag the pig all the way up there. What if I actually attack him and make him chase me? Then I could easily bring him there, actually. Come here. That's a good idea instead of feeling like I need to carry him. Because he is heavy. Yeah, this is going to take way too long. Let's uh, get him to want to kill us. There we go. We'll get him there in no time. <laughs> um, yeah, what I was talking about though, so I was also thinking about just not playing a game and trying to learn something new. So I was actually going to learn to code. And um, actually, that's what I sort of chose to do was to try and get into some coding. But then, like, I feel like it started to become more stressful than trying to figure out what game to play. Because I usually try to mess with my phone in the morning and at night. And after I'm done doing all the stuff I need to do, like, I'm pretty tired. Wait, no, where are you going? Oh, okay, he just gets tired out. I'm pretty tired and I don't really feel like, uh... Like, trying to learn a bunch of stuff. I don't know. I just want to play something simple. Like, I'm pretty burnt out after I do all this shit I got to do each day. Um, so I don't know if I could do that. Sometimes I could really get myself into it and have fun. And then other days it just feels like a chore. Because I feel like coding is fun, but there's a huge part of it that's just very, like, boring. And there's also a huge part of it that is... Um, it's like problem solving. And that's when it comes into being a lot more complex and difficult. And you have to really think about it. And it requires a lot of your mental focus, which I just can't really give it. So I don't know. Maybe I'll play a coding game or something. I'm almost there. I, I didn't realize how close I got already. Don't want to make him mad and run around. I just got to get him there and throw some bait. Please give me a heart. It looks like a heart. What the hell? Okay. Let's try this out. Is this the right spot? Right, let's try it right there. Hmm, that's weird. Let's try right here. Oh shit, it's gonna make my other items disappear. Huh. Yo, what are you tripping for? Calm down. Is there like an unlimited supply of stuff up here? In this spot? I'm gonna use some more bait till I uh, see nothing come out. Same spot. Eat the food. Hey. Eat the food. Are you gonna commit suicide? <laughs> what the hell is that? It's the food. Seems like an endless pit. Okay, yep, yeah, he committed it. He committed suicide. R.I.P. Uh, I had a feeling he wasn't um, feeling too good after I fed him all that. If I could see him right now. There he is. What are you going to do down there? You did it to yourself. There's nothing I can do either. I can't get you out of there. <laughs> you stupid. Why did you do that? He's not even like... He's just like contemplating himself. Like, why did I do that? Unless he's stuck. Uh, 
I mean, I wanted to do it like once more, so I guess I feel like nothing was gonna come up. Like, no heart. Maybe after a couple tries, but I don't know. I don't think so. Alright, let's get there. I feel like I need to go get some upgrades before I do this too, but uh, I don't know, I'm already here. Shit. West, yeah. I'm already here, and I feel like I might as well just try to do it. Because if I could just do it, then... I forget what you get if you go further. I know it's not too hard to get the the first reward, but to get the second one, I think is a lot tougher. Whatever it is. If I'm correct. Oh, there we go. What's this? Perfect. What if I hit this? Oh. Uh, there's no way to hit it. Let's see if I can throw this off. Into the water. Nope. Let's do it. Yeah, I really do want to learn coding, though. I feel like I should drink this if there is going to be a fairy in there. I feel like I really want to learn coding, but in order for me to do it, that I'll need to... The Savage Labyrinth. Deep in this never-ending darkness, the golden shard you seek awaits. Perfect. I feel like I'll need to really set a bunch of time aside, and the other way for me to do that is to get um, a lot of stuff out the way and make sure I'm okay financially and shit, which, which will take a while. Um, if this is a fairy, I'm gonna drink this. Yeah, it is. I'll, I'd rather have two fairies than one. Oh shit. Wait. Does that... Does the juice heal you fully? I should look that up, actually. I'm gonna look that up. It's that grandma's juice, right? Oh shit, I'm not even on Wi-Fi. Oh, I could use my phone. Grand... Mas. Oh, it's soup, right? Grandma soup. Oh, oh. oh that's weird. Grandma's in um, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Unless it's like just the item. Elixir soup, that's what it's called. Restores health and magic, double sword strength until harm. Maybe I should get that instead. Um, because restoring magic would be useful. Wait, would it? Sort of. The little sprite will lend you its energy when you've used it all, all up of your ascent. Immediately replenish your life energy. I don't think that it heals you all the way. I have a feeling Grandma Soup will heal me all the way. Uh, 
You know, I get two grandma soup, heal up my magic so I could do the spin attack. Yeah, let's do that. Fuck me. I have to go. Wait, no, I could just hookshot up here, right? If I'm correct, I don't even need to do what I just did. I have a feeling I don't. Since I have the hookshot. Let's dump these fairies. And I think when you get further down, because the game's like so generous, it gives you fairies too. I have a feeling. Hopefully I don't need to use those on Grandma. I already did, I think. What is with this? The upside down symbol. Uh, upside down Triforce. Aren't you hungry? Would you like soup? Yes, please. You're such a well-mannered boy. Here you go. Oh shit, I should have read that. Your grandmother filled your bottle full, so there's two helpings inside. Isn't she sweet? You and your sister love my soup, don't you? If you run out, come back. Yep. See if I get another one. Miruku, if you run out... Wait. Okay, let's go. Let's change out, actually. Not the tingle bottle. I still have not used that yet. I don't even know what it does. It's not even in the older games. Can I get two helpings of soup? Ah, oh, come on. Fill it up. Give me more. <laughs> Can I just scoop it? No. Is it really just one bottle? I have a feeling it is. Uh, maybe because it's like too powerful or something. Okay, anyways, let's try to get up there. From here. No, I gotta get closer. There should be more fairies anyways. Yep. Easy. I feel a little dumb now. We'll just go in with what we had. Sad fairies. I want, I think, this. And bombs. And I think this should be switched. Because I feel like that'll be the most useful. Oh shit, it's almost 30 minutes. Oh fuck. Um, we'll do one, one part and then we'll... I'll stop. Oh shit, moving around is so much better. Yeah, that is so much better. It's gonna make this whole thing so much easier. I could do one more. Gonna get a lot of Link screaming. Oh shit, there's one behind me. Shit, that's it. I forget how many um, parts of this there are. Um, nah, we'll stop here. After, yeah, in the next part, we'll try to get through this whole thing, and not just to the Triforce piece. We'll try to keep going and get through the entire part. Gotta be careful. Link's ready. Look at that. It's not a, it's not a big deal. He knows what's happening. Okay, thanks for watching.
Alright, bye.